Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we're going to go over a monk build that is geared for utility. The monks are by far the best utility character in Diablo. Uh, you've seen plenty of videos with me running with them because they're amazing, especially the support ones. They're not the highest DPS character. I know a lot of people like to play them. Uh, they're not a very popular uh, character, but the people that do play them love them. I uh, swore I wouldn't play one, and I leveled every character, and then I decided, you know what, I'm out to help people, that's the main reason I make my videos, it's not for profit, it's just to help people, the same way I play in-game, you know, it's fun to help people sometimes, you know, you can help rift people, you can help, you know, do bounty runs, stuff like that, it's just, you know, supporting the, the community that you're a part of, and in this, uh, in this video, we'll go over the build, um, it's called Zero DPS, ZDPS, if you haven't seen it out there, uh, this is a slight variation to the point that we're going to do a little bit of damage in a roundabout way. And we'll go over the skills here. We'll go over, uh, you know, a couple of the options that you can certainly choose. And we'll go through these skills real quick. Deadly Reach. Every third hit has a 50% chance to knock enemies up in the air. Good crowd control. Good thing to have around. This is your main spirit builder. And we're running this with Keen Eye. Because we're going to be in there, we're going to be doing damage, we're going to be tanking a lot of stuff, we're going to be grouping stuff up, and we're going to be taking a lot of damage. So every third hit also increases your armor by 40% for 3 seconds. So if you're chaining, you know, attacks back together, you can sit there, you can keep yourself a little bit more protected uh, in there. You can certainly run with Crippling Wave, um, and this is going to uh, do a little bit of damage here. Every third hit also dazes enemies within 11 yards. Slows their movement speed and attack speed by 20% for 3 seconds. So, uh, the other thing here, and this is, again, this is all about utility. Uh, you can run this with Crippling Wave. Enemies hit by Crippling Wave take 10% additional damage from all attacks for 3 seconds. This is a way, hit, hit a few things, allow the people around you to do the damage that they're looking to do, and helping out the group. That's all it's about. You're not out to do, you know, max damage. You're not out to kill everything that's around. You're out to group stuff up, make it, you know, so it takes a ton of damage and then let other people do the killing. That's what this is for, and it's actually kind of fun at times. So uh, we're going to continue to run this here. Um, Exploding Palm, and this is the one where you can go either way. Uh, you can either go with complete zero DPS, or you can go with the Exploding Palm build. And the reason you would go with the Exploding Palm, um, cause an enemy to bleed for X damage over 9 seconds. Not that big of a deal. Uh, you're going to see a blue hand over the head of the enemy. And the main part is, is the second part. If the enemy dies while bleeding, it explodes and deals 50% of its maximum life as physical damage to all nearby enemies. So if you have an enemy, you have some elites, you group them up, you got a blue group of elites, they have 500 million health each. You group them all up, you're keeping them near each other, and they're dying, 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 and you get three of them down to 250,000 or 250 million life. You kill one, and uh, they do 50% of their, their life, so you have all three of them already down to 250 million, roughly. Um, one explodes from its 500 million maximum and deals 250 million damage to all nearby enemies. So these blow up and it kills everything around it. You get credit for the kill, yet you probably did next to no damage against these things. Uh, the other part of this, with the rune, enemies hit, take 20% additional damage for 9 seconds. So you group things up, you tag it, and 9 seconds is a fairly long time in a fight. So you tag it, and your, um, your allies are sitting there, they're attacking, they're doing 20% additional damage now to these things that you tag, they're all grouped up, and then they're going to explode and do a ton of damage. So this is a good utility build. Um, it might not be, uh, you know, what you run, or what you want to run with on certain characters, on certain builds, uh, or whether you're fighting bosses. The extra 20% damage is nice for all characters around you. It's a good one to go with. If you're going with zero DPS altogether, um, and this is, you can rotate these skills in and out. Uh, you can run with Inner Sanctuary, and this creates a runic circle of protection on the ground for six seconds that reduces all damage taken by 55% for all allies inside. Now this is good for melee, not good for ranged, uh, but the main part of this, you can run this with this rune here. Enemies inside Inner Sanctuary take 30% increased damage and have their movement speed reduced by 80%. So now they're taking an extra 30% damage. You've got Exploding Palm on them, they're taking 20% additional damage there. So next thing you know, your, your allies, your guys that are doing all the damage, they have a huge, huge boost to those things around them, and that's, you know, without any other, you know, group buff. So you're fighting elites, you're blowing stuff up left and right, 
They're all grouped together, which leads to the next skill, Cyclone Strike. You've seen in videos the, the monk, you've, by, far, by now you've seen it, the monk grabs everything, pulls it to it within a huge radius, and then allows you to just do massive area damage. And that's the main thing. You don't want to be shooting here, you don't want to be shooting there. In most Diablo skills, you're doing area damage. And this is the way you can look for it. Currently, we're running this with Implosion. This increases the, uh, the radius to 34 yards. Um, which is the main reason we're using this. We're running rifts with it. Uh, you want to clear rifts quickly, group stuff up, do extra damage around it, and blast the hell out of it. And that's the main reason we're doing this. It makes really quick rifts, tear through it very, very quickly. Um, if you're fighting a boss, skip Cyclone Strike, run with something else if you're running this exact build, and switch it over to Inner Sanctuary. It's not that hard to switch over. You get the extra damage there. Um, the other thing with this, the blue elites... They grab no matter what distance. So you can grab all the blue elites at no matter what distance, up to 34 yards, of course, and it pulls them together. If you're fighting the yellows, um, it'll grab the white minions. However, the yellows, as long as they're at the, the full range at the end, it can grab them. But if they're closer than that, like 5, 10, 15 yards, it's not going to pull it to you. It's got to be at a greater distance. That's the only way that works. Uh, so if you're wondering why sometimes it grabs and sometimes it doesn't, that's why. Uh, next skill, Serenity. Since you're going to be grouping everything up, since you're going to be, you know, in there tanking everything as best you can, uh, this, you know, absorbs all incoming damage and grants immunity to all crowd control, uh, control impairing effects that it does on you. So ice cubes, stuff like that, uh, jailing, you can get out of that with this, or you can ignore it altogether, especially if you see ice cubes are about to pop. You just pop this three seconds, you live through it, you don't get frozen. Um, it's a good way to stay alive, especially when you're tanking. We're running this with Peaceful Repose. Um, this, it heals you, and I have a pretty high health globe healing bonus, so 40% of that I can heal for close to 100,000 life whenever I pop this. It's on a 20 second cooldown. Since we're going to be running a lot of cooldown reduction, um, this is going to help out quite a bit, and it's going to come around um, quite often. And so the next skill that we're going to run with, and this again is more crowd control, blinding flash. And this blinds everything within 20 yards for three seconds. So that's pretty cool. Now elites are obviously going to come around quicker from all, you know, controlling, you know, things that you do. Uh, but this here, elite enemies recover faster, but suffer a 30% chance to miss with attacks. So uh, generally, you know, you just kind of deal with it. They're going to come around quicker, of course. This gives you a little bit added bonus to it. Again, it's a utility build. Um, we're going to run this with self-reflection. You can certainly run this uh, with replenishing light if you're looking to build up your spirit a little quicker for your exploding palm and cyclone strike. But with this one, we're doing the ultimate, you know, uh, crowd control. And since we don't have, you know, 60-70% cooldown reduction, we're only at about 55 now, we're going to run this. This increases, uh, blinds them for 6 seconds. This is on a 15 second cooldown. I have 55% cooldown reduction. This is almost can chain back together without, you know, the lost. So the next skill, uh, Mantra of Retribution, you can definitely go with a couple different mantras here. Uh, we're running this with Transgression because this gives the 10% uh, increased um, uh, attack speed to your allies. Um, if you pop this and make it active, it increases the damage amount. Um, you and your allies um, within 60 yards deal 100% of your weapon damage when blocking, dodging, or getting hit. So if you got people in there, you're going to do a little bit of extra damage there. But the main reason is the attack speed, which is the regular passive that's going to go there. Um, here, uh, you could certainly run with Mantra of Conviction. Damage bonus um, is increased to 20% for 3 seconds, which is off of the uh, passive uh, where everything around you takes 10% in, uh, increased damage. So that's one you could run with. You can certainly run with overall here, uh, any number of directions. Passive skills, Beacon of Etar, uh, reduce all cooldowns by 20%. Of course, we're heavily on cooldown reduction. This is a necessity here. Uh, Exalted Soul. Now, there is a helmet uh, for monks, and um, you could certainly run with this. It's the Laws of Seth. Whenever you use Blinding Flash, you're gonna inc you're gonna restore some of your uh, spirit. Now, if you have high cooldown reduction, uh, you can run Blinding Flash quite a bit and build up your spirit that way to supplement your Cyclone Strike and your Exploding Palm. There's a number of different directions you can go, especially if you're not even running Exploding Palm. 
Uh, but for now, we're doing this. This gives you the extra spirit and the spirit regeneration. This is a good one to have around if you're if you're building a build like this. Seize the initiative. Also pretty much a necessity because, like I said, you're going to be taking a bunch of damage. Your armor is increased by 30% of your dexterity, so it's good to keep around. Keep... Um, Keep your keep your armor up pretty high. Take less damage. Self-explanatory. Now the other one here, we're running transcendence. Every point of spirit spent heals you for 248 life. And again, like I said, I have high health globe healing bonus, so this actually goes up quite a bit with what I have. Um, I just transferred gear over from my demon hunter, crafted a few pieces, and put this together, and instantly hopped into uh, torment four. And it was very easy, and I imagine that if I start putting gear together correctly, it's going to be a lot better. And what we're going to look at is this other skill here, one with everything. So if I have 1,500 fire resistance, which is the secondary on some of these, um, it can be any element, obviously. So we've got 146 fire resistance as your secondary. So a lot of things, when you're playing a monk, you're going to want to look for fire resistance on all of your, or most of your pieces of gear, or one type of element so that you can stack it and then so if you have 1500 fire resistance and only like 800 cold resist that cold is going to get bumped up to 1500 which is a very nice thing to have since uh, we didn't necessarily gear that way since we're just now gearing up we're going to stick with transcendence and kind of do things this way gear wise uh, again, I transferred some gear over. You can certainly find better pieces. The center coat's not going to help me out much. You can run with any type of piece there. Uh, same here. You can certain. You don't necessarily need to run with things that are going to do damage because you're not going to be doing a lot of damage. So we're looking for some new pieces. So we transferred the gear over and then we crafted some pieces. And a couple set um, like set crafting pieces you can look for is the Captain Crimson set. Now, if you have a Royal Ring of Grandeur, it's going to help out with a couple of these. Um, builds or a couple of our sets here this uh the two piece by itself reduces cooldowns of all skills by 10 percent you get some life regen you get the three piece bonus which is the extra uh resistances and then the resource cost reduction so it's a good thing to have around the other one is the born set now this is a, a weapon that you're going to want to craft and you can certainly do this any number of ways you can run this and the skills on there, we just did this originally for damage, but it's not a necessity to do much damage with the weapon damage here. Uh, so there's a couple different ways you can go with this, but you'll see the set bonuses. 15% increased life with the two-piece. With the Royal Ring of Grandeur, we get the three-piece, and that's another 10% cooldown reduction. And of course, your always fun bonus experience, which doesn't matter. Uh, the other thing is, we've got any old helm here. We pick this up. Doesn't matter what helm you got. Uh, certainly, if you can get the Laws of Seth, great you'll be in a lot better shape but since we just hopped over here we grabbed this got some decks got some vitality crit hit chance not that big of a deal um, put a socket in it put a diamond in it reduce cooldowns of all skills by 12 percent with the gem that we have and there you go so the rest of your gear pretty much open to whatever you want to do we crafted a shield here just for the we got decks we got vitality we got life we got some life regen uh, reduce damage from melee attacks, plus the secondary with the chance to be protected by a shield of bones. So this is defensive only. Uh, there's other pieces you can go with, but if you're just getting over, you've had some plans, grab some stuff, go with that. So again, guys, this isn't perfect by any means, just because we just leveled this the other day. But we hop immediately into T3, T4 with some crafted pieces, some carryover pieces. We're sitting at 18 million toughness. And it just, you know, your damage isn't going to matter, your sheet damage isn't going to matter, because it's all going to be exploding palm, but your main job is to be utility. And we'll put a video, we're going to do a rift right after this, we're going to do this in a public game, because you're certainly not going to want to run this solo, it'll take you years to clear stuff by yourself. Um, so this is, you know, we'll do a video, stick around, watch that, see it in action, we'll kind of go over, you know, the way this works, Cyclone, blinding stuff, exploding palm. You're going to see, you're going to get credit for a lot of the elite kills just because of the way I mentioned earlier, where you're going to, uh, you're going to, stuff's going to die, it's going to blow up, and you're going to get credit for the kill. So we'll do that. Stick around, watch this, and uh, you'll see it in action. You'll see just how fast you can clear this, even with an average group, because area damage is where it's at in Diablo 3. This is the perfect way to make it happen. So stick around. Let's do a rift. All right, so we got ourselves in a public game, running with one person from our clan, picked up a couple pubs, and we're going to run this together 
And uh, you're going to see the best benefit, obviously, is going to be group play, especially when you're running the uh, the monk here. So here's we got some elites right away. We're going to tag all these, group them in. We're going to blind them. Notice they're all taking extra 20% damage. And you saw that they popped and blew up there. Wow. All right, so we got right into this. Um, very easy is Torment 4. Of course, that... Um, that wizard there seems to be doing quite a bit of damage anyways. So you saw that we were able to group everything together. We'll pull these guys in. You'll see one blows up and the other blows up because that one killed it. So that's the exploding palm there. Uh, you'll see as we get this going uh, in groups here, kind of group everything together. Massive area damage, that's the main reason for this build. Pull everything together. I'm going to use our Spirit Builder. I'm not even really having to use uh, Blinding Flash because we've got a pretty decent group here. But as you can see, it's going to make it a lot quicker, a lot easier uh, when we are grouping stuff up. Because if they're out there single targeting everything with you know a Meteor Shower, that's certainly not going to help much. You see the guy trying to run Black Hole. It's not, not necessarily with a Monk plan in the group. So um, we'll get some Elites here. I'm going to try and tag as much as I, much stuff. And there, you saw everything just kind of die really, really quickly. Um, they were doing a lot of damage. They killed a couple of the uh, white mobs there. And they exploded and killed everything around them. And we'll do it again here. We need to get this in. That way you can see once we get this going, of course, this is actually going much better than expected. I actually wish it was a little bit uh, tougher so that we could actually see uh, the effectiveness of this. Let's see, there's a fist weapon for us. Pylon certainly making this a lot quicker. We're already at 32%, and I believe we're only just a minute or two into this video. Um, Seems like the uh, Crusader here has quite a bit of damage. Right, we got some more elites in here. We can grab them all the way in here. You're going to see I'm tagging all three of them. We're going to watch one. Uh, there's, I guess, a fourth one here. They're all taking 20% more damage. And just like that, you saw two of them die on the side after one blew up just because of the exploding palm that left one left there on the left, and they died really quickly. So we're going to continue to do this. Don't want to get hit by those guys, though. You see that I kind of knocked him up in the air there. Let's get this group in here. We've got everything um, blinded there. You see all the stars above them. I'm not worrying about taking too much damage. We're getting hit by a frozen pulse. We're going to pop Serenity in there. We're going to tag, and that's going to hurt really bad. We are sitting right on the apex of an arcane century. Not much I could do there. Way too many guys. Serenity was can only come around so quickly. It's a shame we died, so we'll go ahead. We'll group everything up in here. And now stuff dies. So that's just bad RNG. Uh, not much we can do there outside of just running like hell. We've got everything blinded in there. Everything's marked for death. They've got... Um, there you can see everything exploded. And Seeker got credit for the kill, and I did basically nothing. So, seems to be stacked with elite. So let's group everything up together. Tagging all the little guys. And as you can see, all the little guys died quickly. Of course, with the yellows, they're not going to do as much damage. Uh, you know, as they group up, they will do more and more damage blind everything there. Can't grab the fat boys. A little bit of a problem there, but that's okay. We'll group these guys up. I almost feel like I should apologize because my group is too good for this video. Uh, but as you can see, we're putting it all together. We're getting this going. We're grouping everything together. You tag it. One dies and the rest die. It's just... It's the way Exploding Palm works. You can certainly go with zero DPS and be completely 100% utility. Uh, but this is certainly another way to go uh, to group everything up.
everybody's following me because, well, I can help group stuff up. So, one big group here. You'll see the flies die, and then everything starts to die around it. Watch this guy die. Well, if someone will come kill it. Let's not watch it die, then. There it goes. Just a quick and simple video. So, I don't want to prolong this any longer than it should. Try it if you like it. If you don't, there's certainly some other videos out there that have some different opinions on how you can run this, and especially with better gear that might be a little bit more geared for uh, what you're looking for. Uh, you'll see that we're going to pop the manager here. Uh, we're going to get everything in here, get it killed. And uh, I'm going to try and do a little bit more uh, with this build in another video. But as you guys can see, it does work. It's very effective. It's a great utility build. Uh, you've got everything grouped up constantly uh, to help the group out. you got it blind. you got crowd control. Nobody's taking a lot of damage. I did die on the Arcane Sentry, but that's because it spawned right on the apex of uh, where we were in the middle of a huge mob. Torment 4. We're clearing this super, super quick. We're at 92%. As a matter of fact, we'll just hold on to this video uh, as it goes through so you can see time it wise. It makes for some very quick riffs. Grouping everything up it obviously is going to help if you've got a good group. But uh, you can put the pieces together if you want. We'll get some more elites in here. Group them together. Got them both there, right there. Tagged with Exploding Palm, dead. It's super, super quick. Uh, there was one left over there. But as you can see, one dies, they all die, especially if you're messing with elites. They have so much health that it makes it super, super easy to just kill stuff, clear it, and, you know, get the heck out of dodge. So, get everything grouped up here, blinded, grouped up. You know, they're running black hole. We blinded it again. We're going to tag a bunch of this stuff. Pop Serenity. Keep us from taking it. And there you go. You see it all falls down. It's like dominoes with this. You hit one and the rest go. And if not, that other one's very close to going down. So we'll come in here. See, we blind that guy. Keep this guy blinded. We'll go ahead and pop our mantra. Get everybody boosted up here. Blind him again. Don't want to get hit. I think we've got a ton of lightning coming out or blind it again. Mantra. Not mantra. Keeping it going. Dead. Took a little bit of damage there at the end. That's it. I'm not sure how long we've been recording, but that was a very quick rift. Uh, it, we had a good group, but we kept everything grouped up. We played our role. We did our part. They did theirs. They did damage. I grouped it up. And that's the way this works. I mean, there's not much to it outside of, you know, making sure you stay alive. Don't sit on the apex of uh, arcane sentries like I did. Uh, but outside of that, guys, if you like the video, any likes you got to throw my way, I definitely appreciate those quite a bit. Uh, please let me know in the comments uh, some suggestions that you have uh, on how this build could be better, other ways you can do it. I know that there's certainly uh, different ways you can run uh, once you have different pieces of gear. Um, we don't have all those pieces, but we hopped in, we crafted a few things, and next thing you know, we're sitting here running through Torment 4 super, super fast. So hopefully this, guy, this helps you out a lot. Um, Feel free to subscribe. We've got a lot of videos that are out there already. We got more on the way. There's more patches coming. Feel free to subscribe. Hit that button below. I would certainly appreciate that. Uh, you guys sticking around, checking out the uh, content that we're going to have coming. Uh, as always, guys, happy hunting. Appreciate you watching. Till next time, see you later.